Welcome back to the Average Fisherman. Back out at my favorite spot again, this time with a buddy. I'm sure y'all will be seeing him in a little bit. But we're coming out to hit this little cove from the last video. Water looks way down now. We'll see what we do. Alright, first cast of the day. Yeah, no, no, yeah. And no. Well, might have to get a different place. Oh well, there's lots of places to fish here. Didn't have my drag set. Got a bite. Oh, and here's an alligator. I don't know if you guys see him. He's right there going after my cork. Chasing my cork down. We're gonna have to scare him. He's about a he's about a four footer here. If you see him, he's only about ten feet off the bow of my boat right there. About three, four foot alligator. He's gonna ruin my shit here. I just set a new record. I caught the smallest bass I've ever caught in my life just now. I have him in the yak. I'll show you guys. Hey, Peter. Peter, look at this bass. Yeah. <laughs> like a two ouncer. Yeah. I'm about to unhook him like a bluegill. There you go. Look at that. Smallest black bass I've ever caught in my life. Not the kind of record I want to set, but you know what? It's fun. I'm going to chase this gator out of here. The bites are slow today. Um, they're not non-existent, but they are slow. As y'all can see. And they seem to be pretty picky about the location of where I'm placing the cork. So. All right, I'll tell you what we're gonna do here. Since they seem to be super finicky, I'm gonna switch down to a smaller hook so that way I don't have to be so quick on the draw because I'm having to adjust the kayak. The fishing's been pretty tough. Um, we're catching mostly tiny ones, which is why I haven't really filmed any of them. I got about six or eight in the boat that are decent size um, caught a couple of pretty small goggle eye but they're all they seem to be all up real close to the bank 
and the ones that are biting are pretty small. Um, we have a cold front coming through soon in the next few hours, and I think that might be doing it uh, as far as turning off the fish bite. But you never know. I mean, we could be just doing the wrong things at the wrong place at the wrong time. I, you know, that's why they call it fishing and not catching. But um, I'm having to fish like literally a foot away from the bank. So I'm getting a lot of snags and stuff, and the wind is pushing me directly into the into the bank. So, um, of course, as everybody knows, with an approaching cold front, there's a lot of wind. So it's not exactly conducive to uh, to fishing. It's pretty pretty tough conditions to be fishing in right now. But um, Peter's down this way. I don't know what he's caught. Uh, I saw him pull in something. I don't know how big it was or anything like that, but let me put another piece of bait on here. Just letting you guys know, cold fronts tend not to do too well for freshwater fish. Not so much in the rivers, and as you can see, I'm, <laughs> I'm already getting spun back around after I just adjusted the boat so I could bait up. But that tells you how strong this wind is. Literally... 15 or 20 seconds and I'm already back into the trees so um, as I was saying cold fronts with freshwater fish tends to put them off the bite they'll bite a little bit right before if you can catch it which is what we were hoping today but uh, doesn't seem to be the case so I'm gonna try to parallel this and try to use my pedals to um, to kind of keep me in position here so I know it's not the best angle for catching camera footage of me catching fish, if I catch anything. But um, I'm sure you guys don't want to see me endlessly using the pedal, uh, the paddles either. So see a bunch of squirrels in the trees that think they're hidden, but they're not. I see you, buddy. If I had my pistol and it was hunting season, you'd be, you'd be in trouble. Right, let's see what we got here. Ah, nice little bluegill. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty decent size. Yeah. This is uh, part of the reason why I wear these gloves. Oh man. Yeah, wind. I don't want to screw up my spot, so I have to throw him back over and back out of here. So I don't scare all the rest of them. There we go. But yeah, decent sized bluegill here. I don't know what the deal is, if they're on the spawn or not, but they are really close to the banks for some reason. I always bring pliers. Which doesn't always seem to help. Uh, all right, caught another little bluegill. Bite slow. Well, I say little. This sucker is not little. Um, the bite is slow, but fairly what I would can say, or what I would consider consistent. Um, you just gotta wait for it, and that seems to be the mo. You find what looks like a good spot, you throw your hook there, and they're not biting it right away, um, but they are taking it. It just takes a little time. So, I'm patient though. If that means bigger bluegill, I'd rather have the bigger, fewer bigger ones than a bunch of little bitty ones. That's for sure. Yeah, they're pretty consistently in there. Catching a lot of these little um, pumpkin seed fish though and the problem with them is that they absolutely inhale the hook and then you can't get the sun bitch out without killing them which I don't want to do and I am using a big hook um, I switched over to a size 6 which is pretty big size for those little pumpkin seeds they keep biting um, and that's the reason why I switched over is because I didn't want to keep gill hooking these little fish 
but it seems to be something that I can't help. And I'm trying not to let them have it for too long because that's how they swallow it is when you let them play with it for too long they uh they really inhale the hook now look at this these are some monster bluegill over there these are some big old boys look at this look at that that's a big bluegill And you know what I say, you catch one, throw it right back. Don't bounce it off the tree like I just did. Um, throw it right back. But yeah, the pattern, the pattern is there. I mean, they're, they're biting, but it's taken them 45 seconds to a full minute to actually start chewing on the hook. So that gives me just enough time to adjust my kayak. There we go. Got another bite there. Oh, and he pulled me into a stick. No. All right, let me see if I can halt my forward motion here. That was a good bite. And he, he just pulled me into a snag. Well, hopefully that didn't screw things up too bad. Get my my cork right back down in there. Wind has picked up a little bit. It was pretty much dead for a few minutes, as far as wind goes. There we go. Gonna be another nice one. Yep. Hybrid. Hybrid bluegill and green sunfish. So I think I found the pattern. At least for this one little spot. And I just kind of let my kayak drift up against this log on purpose. Another one. Yeah, I found a good spot here. So I'm just letting the, the wind push the kayak backwards against this log. Nice little bluegill. Rowdy little shits. Um, so that way I can stay in one spot and keep casting to this little this little junction right there between those trees is which is where I'm catching these fish. I'm twisted up here. Yep. All right, let's try this again. So far, that's three cast, three fish. Let me go for four. Looks like it. That wasn't as good of a bite. <laughs> but, so we're gonna try to cast a little. Oh, oh well, I'm gonna let it sit right there. No, I'm not. Kind of got twisted around my cork. But they're right under there. There we go. That's a good hit. I'm actually going to reach down and grab this log and pull my kayak into it a little bit. Make sure I don't drift away because I'm doing some damage here. Oh, that was lucky. That was pure luck that I didn't get hung up there. Now they're starting to get kind of small. Another little pumpkin seed. There you go. You're not the fish that we are looking for. Oh, dang it. Hit the side of the tree. 
That ain't any good. Boy, these suckers are some positional, man. <laughs> Cast six inches to the left, you don't get anything. Another little hybrid. You really wouldn't think there's anything special about this spot either. It's just it's just a almost random place in between these two trees. But I've caught five or six really good bluegill right here. And I mean I don't really I can't I can't see under the water, so I don't know what's under the water that they're so oh that might be the end of this spot. Nope. Um so I can't see what they're relating to under there. But, man, they, they had a lot of fish in this one little spot. Looks like I might have fished them out. Oh, well, time to move on.